What are graphs? It's a very common question we hear here at dgraph. Before learning about graph databases, we should know what graphs are and how we can use them to model and present information. A graph is just a structure used to represent relations among different objects. For those of you who are into computer programming, you may have heard of abstract data types. Well, graphs are also a type of abstract data type. And because of that, a graph can represent many things. A graph consists of nodes and edges. Nodes may also be called vertices. Each node represents an object, and an edge between two nodes represents the relationship between them. There can actually be more than one edge between two nodes, and we will get to that a little bit later. For example, if we were building a social media application like Facebook, you can model your application data as a graph. The nodes of that graph could represent each user. Information representing that user, such as name, email address, and so on, are associated properties of a node. These properties are also called predicates in dgraph. Suppose two users become friends on your application. You can represent that relationship as an edge that connects them. Let's call that edge friendship. Edges are also called predicates in dgraph. Now, what if in real life, two of these users were actually relatives? And we've seen that it's possible to have this type of information on someone's Facebook page. How could we achieve the same thing using graphs in your application? Well, it's quite easy actually. What we would do is create an edge between the two users and call that edge relatives. And that's how we'd be able to establish that relationship. Lastly, let's take a look at what this looks like in terms of data storage. Just like nodes have properties associated with them, which you'll see here, we have username Albert, friends 80, and same for Luna and same for John, it's also possible to attach information on edges as well. And that's where we'll see these friendship edges in between each of these nodes. And we also see the one furthest to the right with friendship and relatives as data points within that edge 